Guys, if you remember the last video I did of the gas piston, the AK way, uh, we were doing a gas piston for the Clearview Investment, Clearview Investments, excuse me, um, AMD 65 is what they call it. Obviously, this has a longer barrel, and because of the longer barrel, I also believe that they had a larger gas port than the original Hungarian rifles had. So. Basically, we made a bunch of different little pucks or plugs that had different size holes to bypass the gas past the piston head. And with just the stock piston, uh, the brass that was being fired, Wolf, 123 grain, was going about 33 feet on average from the rifle to where the brass would land in the grass out here. So, starting at the smallest restriction, uh, we got, I think, I want to say it was 50 thousandths of an inch uh, bypass hole, and that got us down to 28 feet. Uh, we stepped it up to 60 thousandths. That was like a f maybe six inches, a foot less on average, uh, to 80 thousandths. Um, that got us to like 25 feet on average. Um, the nice part about this uh, being the one tenth of an inch hole, or 0 .100, that got us to right about uh, 18 feet and the recoil was so tame um, it was great uh, no problems with extraction uh, bolt locked open on last round so if any of you other guys have it uh, I know that another guy in the comments of the other video had a short barrel rifle and he has some specs on there of you know what he used for his plugs how big the ports were for his gas bypass and how they worked so anyhow if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments but uh yeah the uh, one tenth of an inch that really worked out really nice for this particular rifle um and if you have one of these um if you did that same recipe i'm pretty sure it would work out pretty good for you too anyhow remember guys that uh loose is fast brakes only slow you down and shotguns have a wider spread be safe and have fun on the range and i'll see you next time